Well, this object here is an Edison phonograph, and if you were kids in school, you'd all learn about Edison. And uh, he made a lot and invented a lot of different things. This was patented in 1895. It was really fantastic entertainment in them days. And every household had one, like we had a, a record player. Now, today, or well, the advanced technology is out of this world. But I'd rather have one of these and play one of these than any i have system of today. It's a forerunner to the um, gramophone. And instead of a round disc, it would be a cylinder. And they are very brittle. Now, this, this year was approximately 100 years old. And uh, there's different sorts. There's the gem. This is the standard. This is the standard a second because it's got a speed for a two-minute cylinder or a four-minute cylinder. Now, this is the container which it would come in. That is the photo of, of Edison. And this is called a blue umberol record. But it's actually a cylinder. And those have survived for about 100 years. And you can still buy them today now with very modern. And that's the title would be on the edge there. And this is similar to the one that's already on the machine. And uh, some have got a huge horn, which is held up by a crane. But uh, the majority of them have got the ordinary household one. And uh, there's the mechanism all down inside. The governor for the speed. It's a speed control. As it is now, it's set at... It's set at what we would call 78. And, uh, and then you've got the sound reproducer and a diamond-tipped needle. You don't change the needle. That needle in there is approximately 100 years old. It's a diamond-tipped, and they last everlasting. You never get, they do go eventually, and you can't get them repaired. But uh, you've got all the grooves around here, and you can get the blanks, a machine similar to this, and a shaver. Now, a shaver... You would get the recording machine and put a blank in and it would cut the grooves all the way across and as you're speaking into this, it would record whatever you're producing, music, speech, whatever. Then, if you want to use it again, instead of like deleting the recording today, you've got to put this on another machine and it's called a shaver. Then that will go along and it will cut the grooves all out and you've got a blank cylinder again then which you can use again to record. And uh, if you'd like to hear the sound it makes, you switch on. Now, this is an old Welsh medley of old folk songs, and of course, as you can recognize the first one. Men of Aleph, which was famous in the Zulu War. And then it, this plays about approximately two to four minutes. And then we go to, go to the end, and you've got the... Uh, then we got the old Come On Wales song. And, uh, well, generally then, you just change, you can, buy, you can still buy the cylinders today and uh, it can be dear, it all depends on the, what they look like but they do get scratched like an ordinary 78 will but, uh, and the reproducer there of course as I've explained and then that was their entertainment in the parlours of Victorian era and into the 20th century